Penangita Indians Malaysian, Kaum India di Pulau Penang, Tamil, Penangku Intiarkal also known as Chulias are Malaysian Indians that live primarily in the state of Penang, Malaysia. Most are the descendants from those who migrated from India during the British colonisation of Malaya. However, historical sources prove that the ancient Indians arrived in Penang during the Chola dynasty. Today, the Penangita Indians are one of the most successful ethnic groups in Penang state and whole of Malaysia. Penangita Indians forms a large percentage of the state's professional labors such as business, law and medicine as well as politics. It can be proved by the appointment of Dr. P. Ramasamy as Deputy Chief Minister of Penang. It made him the first Malaysian of Indian origin to hold the post of Deputy Chief Minister in any state of Malaysia. In addition, first Tamil vernacular school in Malaysia was established in Penang. History Topic. Already in the 1790s, Light mentions Chulias that is, people from the Karamandal coast of India as shopkeepers and farm labourers in Penang. Light estimated that about 2,000 men came to work in this manner each year. However, in contrast to the Chinese, these labourers did not create a permanent settlement in Penang. They would, rather, work long enough to save money and then return to their families in South India. This group of migrants comprised the Adi Dravidas, a group of impoverished labourers originating in the hinterlands of the Tamil country and Andhra Desa who, facing insufficient work in their homeland, went abroad for survival. Another class of Indian migrants was a class of people hailing from the Kaveri Delta areas from the Sivaganga district of Madras known as Natukatai Chetiers who were by occupation money lenders. Their presence in Penang and elsewhere where plantations sprang up aided merchants, miners, and planters, as these chetiers were advancing required working capital in the absence of any effective banks. Light also encouraged migration by the chetier community as part of his plan to create a cash economy on Penang. Unlike the Tamil migrants, Telugu migrants from the northern Karamandal coast came to Penang as families. For this reason, many did not leave when their work terms expired, but rather continued working on plantations or as merchants. Over 1,500,000 South Indians who worked in Malayan plantations, more than three-fourths returned to India, nearly all of them Tamil. As a result of the Occupation of Malaysia, the Japanese killed about 150,000 plus Indian Tamils of Malaysia and Burma in Burma within a period of time after arriving for slave labour work of constructing the Myanmar Rail. Beginning with light, Penang boasted a tradition of religious and ethnic tolerance. All races could practice their respective religious faith and social stability in a multi racial society was thus achieved. Language Topic. The main language spoken by Indians in Penang is Malaysian Tamil dialect of Tamil language in addition to the country's official and national language Malaysian English is also widely spoken and understood. Besides Tamil, Urdu is also spoken by a small number of Indian Muslims and Telugu as well as Punjabi is also spoken by ethnic Telugu and Punjabi community. However, young people are more interested in speaking English and English Tamil mixture macaronic language, Tanglish. Ethnic Jawi Peranakan, a Muslim Creole ethnic group of mixed Indian, Malay and Arab ancestry with predominantly Indian origin mostly use Malay as their first language in addition to English. Another distinct group of Indian Muslims known as Mamak use the Penang Malay variant as their first and daily language. Historically, Penang Hokkien was referred to as a lingua franca of Penang before the rise in the use of Mandarin and English. Penang Hokkien is still used by some members of the Penangita Indian community particularly street vendors. Enclave Little India in the city of Georgetown is a well-known Indian enclave in Malaysia. It covers an area around Labu Queen, Labu Chulia and Market Street. Its location at the center of Penang Heritage Zone and nearby Penang's main finance center, Beach Street makes it one of the most famous and notable shopping spot in Penang among local and international tourists. Culture Cuisine <culture> 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 Indian cuisine in Penang is a phenomenon in Malaysian cuisine. 
Dishes like nasi kandar and roti kanai are not only the most popular dishes in Penang, but throughout Malaysia. Indian food in Penang is heavily influenced by the chitti cuisine. Festival One of the biggest festivals in Penang is a Hindu religious festival called Thaipusam. Thaipusam is dedicated to the Lord Murugan. Deepavali, better known as the Festival of Lights, is another major Hindu festival celebrated by all Hindus. Tamils celebrate the Harvest Festival of Pongal, which is usually held 13 to 16 January. Similar celebrations, known as Makar Sankranti is celebrated by most other Indian communities and Punjabis called them as Lori. While Indian Christians celebrate Christmas Day and Good Friday. Indian Muslims, Jawi Puranakans and Mamaks celebrates Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha along with the country's other Muslim groups like their ethnic Malay counterparts. Thaipusam <laughs> 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 Topic. Tepa Tiravizla Topic. Tepa Tiravizla or Floating Chariot Festival is considered as one of the most important festival in Penang after Thaipusam. The annual festival hosted by Sri Singamuga Kalyaman Temple at Telik Bahang. A celebration to thank the goddess, Sri Singamuga Kalyaman, for her good grace and to beseech her to continue providing devotees with protection and prosperity. Tepa Tiravizla only takes place during Masi Magam, the 11th month one in the Tamil calendar. It is a day when temple idols are taken out for a ceremonial bath. Thousands travel from all over Malaysia to take part in the festivities. The day begins with morning prayers, the devotees who attend bring milk as an offering to the goddess. In the afternoon, the floating chariot is carefully pushed into the sea by temple president Sada Saivam, the youth club members and other temple members. Later, after evening prayers, the idol of the goddess is carried to the chariot. Literature <inaudible> 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 He first known Tamil magazine called Thangay Nesan was published in 1876. Two other magazines Ulaka Nesan and Hindu Nesan were published in 1887 and 1888 respectively. We also know that in 1887 a book entitled Sathya Veda Sarathira Saram the essence of the Bible by Palavanhiram Rayapan was published here. In 1890 Padhananda Maalai was published by Muhammad Sultan Marikayar, a list of early books provided. Many of these books and magazines were produced by Indian immigrants and much of the literary output was in the form of poetry and some of the notable poets of recent times were Swami Ramadasar, Panaikulam M. Abdul Majid and N. Karim. This tradition continues today with home-grown writers and poets. In the early 50s Tamil Marasu, a Singapore Tamil daily, began a student supplement called Manavar Manamandra Malar supplement for students Bell Club. This served as a training ground for budding writers in Tamil. The Thamilar Thirunal Tamils Festival, also sponsored by this daily, provided motivation and training for writers with its various literary competitions. Following these examples, several associations were formed in Penang to promote and nourish Tamil writing. Among them were the Tamil Youth Bell Club, Valuvar Debating Society, Bharati Debating Society, the Senthamese Kala Nilayam and North Malaya Tamil Writers Association. Poetry can be said to be the most prolific of the literary output, a list of significant poets and poetry provided. Following this is the significant production of short stories. The Penang based writers' list is long, but among them are Marugayan, Dato P. Shunmagam, A. Khadr, Court. Ramasamy, Anthony Mutu, S. Anbanantham, M. Sultan, etc. List provided. Significant contribution from Penang to Malaysian Tamil literature includes writings of K. Sonaimuthu with several of his biographies and essays, and R. Karthajesu with his novels. While writers like Karthajesu and Sini Naina Muhammad came into Penang from other states, Penang has also lost some of its illustrious writers like M. Asan Ghani, M. Sultan, and Karaikijar to other states. A current list of writers is appended. Almost all the writers in our list belong to an older generation, and it is a thing of great concern that writers from the younger generation are scarce. Topic Penangdita Indian movies topic Apollam Venira Iravagal topic Education topic The first Tamil vernacular schools in Malaya now Malaysia was set up in Penang under the Labour Code. 
In 2014, the Penang government brought a motion to open the first Tamil vernacular secondary school in Malaysia at Penang. But for political reasons this proposal was rejected by the central government. Indian Malaysians also form the bulk of English teachers in Penang. Law and medicine has traditionally been a preferred career option by Indian families although younger Indians now venturing into other fields such as engineering, finance and entrepreneurship Topic List of Tamil schools in Penang and Perak Topic Topic Notable Penangita Indians Topic Abdul Malik Maidan, 1975 Malaysian solo long-distance swimmer. He was notable as the first Malaysian and Southeast Asian to swim across the English Channel on 3 August 2003. Bishan Singh Ram Singh, 1944–2006 Malaysian social activist and environmentalist. Cecil Rajendra, 1941 Malaysian poet and lawyer David Aramugam, founding members of the band Alicats. Deborah Priya Henry, 1985 Miss Malaysia 2007 of Indian and Irish ancestry Fiza Eli, 1982 Malaysian actress of Malay, Thai and Punjabi ancestry Gobind Singh Deo, 1973 Prominent Malaysian lawyer and politician and the member of parliament for Puchong, Selangor. Jagdeep Singh Deo, 1971 Lawyer and Democratic Action Party Malaysia Assemblyman for Dato Karamat, Penang. Karpal Singh, 1940 to 2014, Malaysian former lawyer and politician Kishva Ambigapathy, 1990, first Asian chairperson, Commonwealth Youth Council and Royal Mace Bearer Queen Elizabeth II, 90th birthday Krishnamurti Muniandi, 1980, Malaysian cricketer Loganathan Aramugam, 1952 to 2007, founding members of the band Alicats. M. Manogaran, 1959 Malaysian politician Nickel David, 1983 World No. 1 squash player of Chinese and Indian ancestry G. Palanival, 1949 Minister of Natural Resources and Environment and current President of Malaysian Indian Congress. Peter Pragas, 1926 2014, Malaysian composer and musician D. S. Ramanathan, first mayor for the city of Georgetown and founder of Labour Party of Malaya Ramkarpal Singh, Malaysian lawyer and politician Syed Thajuddin, 1943, Malaysia well known painter Vanessa Raj, professional squash player who represents Malaysia Vanita Imran, actress and television host S. Venid, 1988, Malaysian footballer. Vijay S. Warren, 1960, Malaysian businessman. Topic References. Topic. Topic. Bibliography. Topic. Sandhu, Kurnil Singh, 1969, Indians in Malaya Immigration and Settlement, Cambridge University Press, p. 29. Sinapa, Anasanatnam, 1979, Indians in Malaysia and Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, Oxford University Press, p. 19. Snyder, Nancy, 1968. What happened in Penang? Asian Survey, 12 to 960 minus 975. Doi 10.1525. As the 12 of August 1968. 01P0433Y. Sinapa, Anasanatnam, 1968. 